How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be building a Tusken Raider village for Star Wars Legion. Started with this pretty simple sketch of a Tusken hut. Looks kind of like an umbrella. It's got a cutout for the door. It's got six sides and these little accessories. I'm not sure what these accessories are, but we'll build them anyways. The hut is about 6 feet tall and 12 feet in diameter. So I use some 1 inch XPS foam, cut into 3 inch by 3 inch squares, stacked them on top of each other. You don't have to be this precise because sand people aren't this precise. I then hot glued them together and I put a toothpick in the middle to make sure they were aligned. I found the easiest way to get the sides relatively even was to do one side first, turn it around and do the opposite side, and then rotate. Once I had a shape I liked, sanded it down for a nice smooth surface. And carved out the door. You can carve out a little bit extra on the inside of either side of the door to make it look more hollow. And then add some toothpicks for the tent poles. Now it's time to paper mache this bad boy. So I took some scratch paper, ripped it up into little bits. I put it in a one-to-one -one mixture of water and white glue. Then smeared it on the side of this, making sure to add a little bit of texture for when I painted. I wanted to want the, some of that texture to show up. I'm gonna move on to these accessories. I think this first one that I'm building is supposed to be like a, one of these tents, uh, just kind of packed up and ready to go. Uh, it's like a ball of fabric with some sticks through it. So I built that. It does kind of look like that thing from Blair Witch Project that um, it's hanging up in the tree. But it also looks like the same people could have made it. So also built this other thing which is kind of like a little backpack it's got two sticks on the sides of uh, the foam and then wrapped up the string then built some campfires using foam core as the base i always like to peel the paper off of the both sides of the foam core makes it a little bit easier to work with and i think it warps less This second campfire, I wanted to have a little bucket hanging over the top. So I built the frame, and then I used the inside of a pen, the little gear portion. I carved off the gear uh, pieces, and then I filled in the bottom with hot glue. I drilled a hole right towards the top on either side, and I bent some wire to make a handle. I didn't want it swinging around so much, so I super glued the string. Once this was dry, it was ready to assemble, so I added all of the little accessories, including a little stool I made off camera. And I also wanted to build this little hide stretcher. So I built a frame, I wrapped each corner with some string and I cut out a piece of fabric. It's supposed to look like leather. I probably should have done it in the shape of an animal, like or more like an animal, but um, I just kind of cut out a random shape. And then strung um, some string across using hot glue in the shape of a web, and then I glued the fabric to it. It ended up looking like Australia, so I flipped it over, and then it looked like China, and uh, I just kept it that way. Once those were dry, they were ready for painting. So I primed them, and I took this uh, generic craft acrylic paint. The color is coffee. It's kind of like a light brown or a dark tan, and I applied that generously to the entire hut. In the desert, pretty much everything becomes coated with dust and dirt, so everything becomes the same color. Like 
Have you noticed the sand people are the same color as the houses they live in? Also covered the ground on each one. After that, I used a lighter color. This is Cafe Au Lait, which is actually just coffee with milk in it. So, um, yeah. It's same color, just lighter. And then went over the entire thing in a nice overbrush. I did, did try to leave some of the last color intact. Let some of it show through. Once that was dry, I took a black wash, just some thin down black paint, and covered the whole tent. For the details on the leather, I did mahogany brown, and then I wet blended out from the center with that um, cafe au lait color to make it look like leather. For some of the little glowing embers in the bottom of these fire campfires, I uh, added orange, yellow, and red, having the orange and yellow in the center and getting more red as it went to the outside. To finish it off, I kind of added a little bit more um, solid color to each of the panels of fabric. I sprayed it with a matte varnish. Called it good. So there is a Tuscan village. Super easy, super inexpensive. Looks great on any Tatooine game board. I know they don't have any Tuscan Raider models out yet, but when they do, you'll be ready. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.